A very interesting discourse that I once read, uh, and usually when you read about Ibn Tilat, when you read about tests and trials, you read about the test of wealth and the test of, of you know, fame and things of that sort. And Imam bin Qutaymi, rahimahullah, he actually had a chapter, the test of al-jamal, the test of beauty. <laughs> he considered beauty to be a test, a trial for a person. Why? Because look, Allah Azza wa Jal, you know, the way that your nose is positioned and the way that your eyes are positioned and that mole that, that's somewhere here or wherever it is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that perfectly and Allah gave you just the right amount of attraction or lack thereof. It's a test. Because when people are too beautiful, what do they become? They become shallow. Most of the time they become shallow. They become arrogant. They're more likely to fall into zina and things of that sort with people throwing themselves at them. Beauty is even considered a test by the ulama because it's a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, and all of you are thinking, yeah, that, that is my test, you know. I'm <laughs> Man, why did Allah make me so beautiful, right? I can see all of you nodding your heads.